Introduction Throughout history, countless Christians have made the ultimate sacrifice for their faith. These martyrs, revered and remembered for their unwavering devotion, have inspired generations of believers. Their stories, often marked by extraordinary courage and deep conviction, serve as a testament to the power of faith and the resilience of the human spirit. In this video, we will explore the lives and deaths of Christian martyrs delving into the reasons behind, their persecution, the methods by which they suffered, and the enduring legacy they have left behind. Early Christian Martyrs Stephen, the first martyr The story of Christian martyrdom begins with Stephen, one of the seven deacons appointed by the apostles to serve the early church. His story is recorded in the book of Acts. Stephen's powerful preaching and miracles drew the ire of the Jewish authorities. Accused of blasphemy, he was brought before the Sanhedrin. In a passionate speech, Stephen recounted Israel's history and accused the religious leaders of betraying and murdering Jesus. Enraged, they dragged him outside the city and stoned him to death. Stephen's martyrdom set a precedent for the suffering and sacrifice that many Christians would face in the years to come. Shadu, the Apostles Many of the apostles who walked with Jesus and spread his message also met violent ends. Tradition holds that Peter was crucified upside down in Rome, feeling unworthy to die in the same manner as Christ. James, the brother of John, was beheaded by King Herod Agrippa I. Thomas is believed to have been speared to death in India while spreading the gospel. These apostles, along with others, exemplified unwavering faith and dedication, choosing to face death rather than renounce their beliefs. Roman Persecutions Nero's Reign of Terror one of the most notorious periods of Christian persecution occurred during the reign of Emperor Nero. In 64 AD, a great fire ravaged Rome. Seeking a scapegoat, Nero blamed the Christians, leading to brutal and widespread persecution. Many Christians were arrested, tortured, and executed in gruesome ways. Some were covered in animal skins and torn apart by dogs, while others were crucified or burned alive to light Nero's gardens at night. This period marked one of the first significant waves of state-sponsored persecution against Christians. The Martyrdom of Polycarp Polycarp, the Bishop of Smyrna, is one of the most well-documented early Christian martyrs. At 86 years old, he was arrested and brought before the proconsul. When asked to renounce Christ, Polycarp famously replied, Eighty and six years have I served him and he never did. Me any injury. How then can I blaspheme my king and my savior? Refusing to recant, he was sentenced to be burned at the stake. According to tradition, the flames did not harm him, so he was ultimately stabbed to death. Polycarp's steadfast faith and courage in the face of death made him a revered figure in the early Christian church. Persecutions under subsequent emperors Decian persecution In 250 AD, Emperor Decius issued an edict requiring all citizens to perform a public act of loyalty to the Roman gods. Christians who refused faced severe punishment. This edict led to widespread persecution, with many Christians being imprisoned, tortured, and executed. The goal was to force Christians to abandon their faith and conform to Roman religious practices. However, many chose martyrdom over apostasy, further solidifying the resolve and unity of the Christian community. The Great Persecution under Diocletian The most severe persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire occurred during the reign of Diocletian beginning in 303 AD. Diocletian issued a series of edicts aimed at eradicating Christianity. Churches were destroyed, scriptures were burned, and Christians were deprived of legal rights. Many were tortured and killed for refusing to sacrifice to Roman gods. This period, known as the Great Persecution, lasted until 311 AD and resulted in countless martyrdoms. Despite the intense suffering, the faith and resilience of the Christian community grew stronger. The Martyrdom of Perpetua and Felicity among the most famous martyrs of the early church are Perpetua and Felicity. Perpetua was a noblewoman, and Felicity was her slave. Both were arrested and imprisoned for their faith. Perpetua kept a diary during her imprisonment, which provides a vivid account of her experiences. Despite the pleas of her father to renounce her faith, Perpetua remained steadfast. Felicity, who gave birth shortly before her execution, shared the same resolve. They were martyred in the arena, facing wild beasts and the sword. Their story has been preserved and celebrated as a powerful testament to faith and courage. The Rise of Martyrdom Literature Acts of the Martyrs The stories of early Christian martyrs were often recorded and circulated among the faithful. These accounts, known as the Acts of the Martyrs, served to inspire and strengthen the Christian community. They detailed the trials, 
sufferings and deaths of martyrs, emphasizing their unwavering faith and the miraculous occurrences surrounding their martyrdoms. These texts were not only devotional but also served as a form of resistance against persecution, reinforcing the idea that the martyrs' sacrifices were a victory over earthly powers. The influence of martyrdom on Christian theology. Martyrdom had a profound impact on the development of Christian theology. The willingness of Christians to die for their faith was seen as a powerful witness to the truth of the gospel. The concept of martyrdom was closely linked to the idea of imitating Christ, who suffered and died for humanity. The martyrs were viewed as following in Jesus' footsteps, sharing in his sufferings and ultimate victory over death. This theological framework helped to sustain the Christian community through periods of intense persecution. Medieval and Renaissance Martyrs The persecution of Christians under Islamic rule With the rise of Islam in the 7th century, many Christians living in territories conquered by Muslim armies faced persecution. While Islamic law generally allowed for the existence of people of the book, Jews and Christians, there were periods and places where Christians were subjected to heavy taxation, forced conversions and martyrdom for their faith. Notable martyrs during this period include the martyrs of Cordoba in the 9th century, who were executed for publicly denouncing Islam. Jan Hus and the Hussite martyrs. In the early 15th century, Jan Hus, a Czech reformer, challenged the practices of the Catholic Church. He was influenced by the writings of John Wycliffe and called for reforms, including the elimination of corruption and the return to a more biblical Christianity. Hus was excommunicated and later summoned to the Council of Constance, where he was condemned as a heretic and burned at the stake in 1415. His death sparked the Hussite Wars, during which many of his followers also faced martyrdom. Protestant Reformation Martyrs The Protestant Reformation of the 16th century saw numerous individuals martyred for their religious beliefs. Reformers like William Tyndale, who translated the Bible into English, were executed for their efforts to make the scriptures accessible to the common people. Tyndale was strangled and burned at the stake in 1536. In England, under the reign of Queen Mary I, hundreds of Protestants were executed for their refusal to return to Catholicism. These martyrs, including notable figures like Thomas Cranmer, Hugh Latimer, and Nicholas Ridley, are remembered for their contributions to the Reformation and their steadfastness in the face of death. Modern Martyrs, 20th Century Persecutions, the 20th century witnessed numerous instances of Christian martyrdom, often in the context of political upheaval and anti-religious regimes. In communist countries like the Soviet Union and China, Christians faced severe persecution. Churches were destroyed, clergy were imprisoned or executed, and believers were often subjected to torture and forced labor. In Nazi Germany, Christians who opposed the regime, such as Dietrich Bonhoeffer, were imprisoned and executed. Bonhoeffer, a Lutheran pastor and theologian, was involved in the resistance against Hitler and was hanged in 1945. Martyrs in the Middle East and Africa In recent decades, the rise of militant Islamic groups has led to increased persecution of Christians in the Middle East and Africa. In countries like Iraq, Syria, Nigeria and Egypt, Christians have been targeted for their faith, facing bombings, kidnappings and executions. The Islamic State, ISIS and Boko Haram are among the groups responsible for numerous atrocities against Christians. Despite the danger, many Christians in these regions continue to practice their faith openly, often at great personal risk. Theological Reflections on Martyrdom The Martyrs as Witnesses The Greek word for martyr, martus, martus, means witness. Christian martyrs are seen as witnesses to the truth of the gospel, their deaths serving as a powerful testimony to their faith in Christ. The early church fathers, such as Tertullian, famously said, The blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. This phrase encapsulates the belief that the sacrifices of the martyrs inspire others to embrace the faith and strengthen the Christian community. Martyrdom and the Imitation of Christ Christian theology has long viewed martyrdom as the highest form of discipleship, closely associating it with the imitation of Christ. Jesus' own suffering and death on the cross are seen as the ultimate act of love and sacrifice. Martyrs, by willingly embracing suffering and death for their faith, are believed to be following in Jesus' footsteps, participating in His redemptive work. This perspective has provided comfort and encouragement to persecuted Christians throughout history. The Legacy of Christian Martyrs Inspiring Future Generations 
The stories of Christian martyrs continue to inspire believers around the world. Their unwavering faith, courage, and dedication serve as powerful examples of what it means to live and die for one's beliefs. These stories are often shared in sermons, literature, and art, keeping the memory of the martyrs alive and encouraging future generations to remain steadfast in their faith. The Impact on Christian Unity Martyrdom has also played a significant role in fostering unity among Christians. In times of persecution, denominational differences often fade in the face of a common enemy. The shared experience of suffering and the mutual recognition of each other's sacrifices have brought Christians of different traditions closer together. This sense of solidarity has been a source of strength for the Christian community, particularly during periods of intense persecution. Conclusion the history of Christian martyrdom is a testament to the power of faith and the resilience of the human spirit. From the early church to modern times, countless individuals have made the ultimate sacrifice for their beliefs. Their stories, marked by extraordinary courage and unwavering devotion, continue to inspire and strengthen the Christian community. As we remember and honor these martyrs, we are reminded of the profound impact that faith can have on our lives and the enduring legacy of those who have gone before us.